Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has declared intentions to revise the country's constitution, officially labeling South Korea as its primary adversary and cutting off bilateral ties, as reported by Fabrice Wolf in Meta Defense. This proclamation comes on the heels of a hypersonic missile test, indicating a notable uptick in tensions between the two Koreas. Just prior to this announcement, North Korea asserted the successful launch of an intermediate-range solid-fuel ballistic missile outfitted with a hypersonic glider. While the validity of these assertions remains to be confirmed, they underscore North Korea's persistent endeavors to bolster its military capabilities and assert dominance. Since the cessation of the Korean War in 1953, North Korea has frequently wielded the specter of military confrontation with South Korea and the United States. Such threats often serve as a diversion from the nation's economic woes and are utilized to shore up domestic backing. Recent military exercises near South Korean islands have only served to exacerbate tensions in the region. Kim Jong-un's proclamation regarding constitutional amendments reflects a strategic pivot aimed at countering perceived external threats, particularly from South Korea. The adoption of solid-fuel missile technology facilitates swift deployment, mitigating susceptibility to preemptive strikes. Moreover, the integration of a hypersonic glider enhances the missile's agility and velocity, presenting challenges to existing anti-ballistic systems. Kim Jong-un's declaration is designed to undercut South Korea's defense strategy, notably its three-axis doctrine, which delineates preemptive strike capabilities. By showcasing advanced missile technologies, North Korea aims to undermine the viability of interception efforts and complicate South Korea's defensive measures against potential preemptive attacks. In essence, Kim Jong-un's announcement represents a significant escalation in tensions between North and South Korea, with potential ramifications for regional security dynamics. That's all for now. See you later.